Hey there. See ya. You know, if you weren't able to build this, we would have had to revert back to basic farming. In this heat and condition, most of the crops would have died, and that'd be the end of Sand Rock. It was that bleak. But you saved the day. For all of us. Thank you. Let me do some cleaning around here. Then I'll teach you a few things about desert farming like I promised. I'll let you know when I'm ready.
party. Have a good day.
Hey there. Hey, see you around. timing. I was just about to run out. Hello. You should use the combat square whenever possible. It'll give you valuable fighting experience. See you.
some fine work you've done up there, partner. Glad to have you guys on board. Next step is riding you builders over to fix the engines. Things might go south over there, over in the, uh, west. What? With the gigglers and all. So you might want to earn yourself. I knew I could count on you. Let's roll. folks on the other side. Right behind you. Diplomacy has failed, partner. Roll out. I'll cover you. There's gotta be an exit around here somewhere. Let's try to find it. You take point. I'll cover you. What's down there? Find anything good? I didn't expect this. Them Geeklers just showed up one day a couple of years back. Now, you see and hear about a few mutated beings here and there, but I have never seen them on such a large scale. Rumor is, they come from the peripheries. Who knows?
Looks like we're in this thing. Plenty of gigglers between us and salvation. Now this goes against pretty much every regulation in the book, but we're in dire straits and uh, have you ever fired a gun before? Never mind, don't answer that. Just take this here shooting iron. Locked. Hmm. Look, see that little light thingy there? Try shooting it. It's gonna unlock this door. I can tell. There you go. You're getting the hang of it. I feel a bit better about the situation overall. Let's check this way.
think if we go through that turnstile, there's an exit in that direction. This place used to be a mining spot back during the Relic Rush. I came once a long time ago. We're gonna need to swap a car to get through that turnstile. Let's look around. Maybe we can find ourselves one. He's coming right for us! Gaggle of gigglers. Looks like they're all listening to that big fella talk about lizard stuff or something. I remember this place. If we can find two keys, we can get through that door on the opposite side of this room. Let's move quick while they're distracted.
here with me. There must be a way to open this. There must be a way to open. I hate to say this, partner, but I think our only way out of this thing is on the other side of that room with all the gigglers. It looks like they're all paying attention to that big guy, though. I bet we can sneak past him. Follow my lead. that guy talking about? Take over Sandrock? Hey, who are those two back there? Oh crap, they saw us. What do we do? I'm sorry to interrupt your little word domination speech there, party, but there's just one little complication you didn't account for in all your plans and contemplations. That thing is justice. Wipe them out! The captain! Save yourself! We're done for! Okay! All according to plan. I knew we 
should have gotten rid of that button. No matter. I'll destroy you myself. On guard. nothing to do with it. Look, the rest of the Gieglers are running for the hills. We won, Sheriff. Let's go back and talk to the old minister. I guess we'll have to take that trolley again. So that's what happened. My goodness, sounds like you folks went through heck and back. I'm glad y'all are safe and sound. Eagler train sure did some damage to our bridge, though. I'm having Heidi assess the situation right now. I'll be calling a special town meeting to talk about it once we're sure of what to do next. You've done the town proud, scaring away the Gieglers. Mighty heroic. Get some rest now, you hear? I didn't do anything.
Howdy. Bye. Hey there. See ya. Hey, the hydrogel is working great. Like I said, in a way, I guess you could say you saved the town. Things are growing again, and with the Civil Corps on increased alert, I don't think we have too much to worry about from our scaly pals. Now might be the time to make good on my promise to Matilda, and teach you about desert planting. First off, it ain't easy. Before you can plant anything, you gotta understand a little concept we around here call the straw grid. I won't bore you with the details, but basically the soil around here ain't good enough to plant much of anything. That is, unless you make a square out of straw around your seeds, protect them from the wind. Put a bunch of squares together and well, that's why we call it the straw grid. Here. Let me show you how to make a little straw fence in sandy soil. Then you just gotta plant a seed in the middle, water it daily, maybe add some fertilizer, and then... Wait! Once your crop is fully grown, you can harvest it. Oh, if you plant often in the same place, your soil will retain some nutrients and slowly upgrade over time. That's about it. Um, if you have any other questions, I've actually written a guide on the subject. Flip through it if you get time. Here's some other stuff to get you started, too. Just, uh, do all those things, I said, and everything should go great. For starters, why don't you try growing some sand rice? We'll see how it goes.